What's up you guys? I'm going to show you how you can easily update a CDJ or XDJ media player in this video. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes when you're spinning at a club or bar with a laptop, you may find that the players don't work properly when used with your DJ software. There are a number of reasons why that could happen and one of them is because the CDJ or XDJ you're using has outdated firmware that may not be compatible with your current laptop's OS and the current version of your DJ software. It's happened to me once at a club, my Mac wouldn't recognize the XDJs because the firmware hadn't been updated and I basically ended up spinning with thumb drives that night. So since then, I've got into the habit of loading the latest firmware updates onto a thumb drive that I stash in my DJ bag. Now, before we get started, make sure that you've got permission to perform the update from the club or the booth technician. Remember, it's their gear, not yours, so they ultimately have to give you the green light to perform the update. Okay, so here's how to do it. First, download the appropriate firmware from the Pioneer DJ site. I usually get updates for the CDJ2000 Nexus 2, CDJ2000 Nexus, and the XDJ1000 because these are the players I usually encounter at my gigs. You can choose whichever applies to you. Next, I load them onto a USB thumb drive. You'll want to make sure the thumb drive is formatted as FAT32. This lets the CDJ or SDJ recognize it. If it's not FAT32, just format the thumb drive. Okay, so when you're at the club, the next thing to do would be to check the firmware version of the players by holding down the menu button to access the utility mode and then scroll to the bottom. If the version isn't the same as what you've got on your thumb drive, then the firmware is outdated. Mine says this CDJ is currently at version 1.41 and at the time of this filming, the latest is 1.43, which I've got on my thumb drive. Now, let's start the update procedure. Turn the media player off and then hold the USB and reloop exit buttons. If you're using an XDJ, hold the in and reloop exit buttons. While holding them down, turn the player on until you see the screen pop up. It'll ask you to connect the thumb drive. Next, plug your drive in and wait for it to finish. It takes a few minutes. When it's done, turn the player off and on again, and you can see that the new version has been installed. Now repeat the same process on the other player, and once that's done, you're good to go. Easy peasy. Let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a like, and share it with others who you think would benefit from learning how to update their CDJs or XDJs. My name's Joey, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time.